Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina and we're going to do a Dollar Tree haul today. I'm literally outside of the Dollar Tree in Patchogue, Long Island, but I forbid myself to go shopping in any Dollar Tree until I do a Dollar Tree haul because I have way too much stuff that I have not yet hauled. So let's get into it because I really want to get in there and see what I can find. Um, this is the scene of the store where I found the Rimmel palette. So fingers crossed I find something good in here. You never know. Um, the first thing I want to share with you guys are these Organic Valley Diced Tomatoes at $1.25, 14.5 uh, ounces. Not the greatest deal, but it's not a horrible deal. Aldi's does have comparable prices on organic um, canned diced tomatoes, but it's convenient to get them at the Dollar Tree, and I love that they're organic. I got eight cans of them actually they had a ton and I bought eight cans because like I said it's convenient and I do really like that brand then I did pick up these jot file folders in this bright bright orange you get six of them now this may be a little bit bizarro but you know the Dollar Tree sells those poster boards and they even sell like four for a dollar twenty five cuts of them but I bought these because I'm going to do garage sale signs on them. I'm going to have a garage sale and you get six of them and they're bright orange. You guys know that I love orange. They smell, they smell like nail polish. That's so weird, but um, you get six of them for $1.25. They're just going to get ruined in the rain. Anyway, I'm doing, at some point, I'm going to do a garage sale this summer sooner than later and this will be perfect. So it's like the best deal as opposed to getting four for $1.25. I get like six and they're a little bigger and they're bright orange. Now you guys, I picked these Spa Luxury Repairing Shampoo and Repairing Conditioner up. I don't know how I feel about them because I don't like stuff that the Dollar Tree sells that gel, that's like sort of jelly-like. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like, like they recently had those organics soaps. Those, they smelled amazing. These smell amazing. I just don't like the, the consistency of the gel ones. This smells so good though that I really decided I had to try them. And the packaging is so delightful. Look at the packaging, you guys. Didn't love the spa luxury line of body wash and lotion. I liked that it came in a pump, but I didn't love it. So the first year they made it, it was very different than the recent one. So I don't know. It is paraben free. I mean, look at the packaging though. It's so super pretty. Um, it smells really good. It says that it is made with honey, royal jelly, and propolis extracts helps heal and protect your hair. I'm definitely going to try it and keep you guys posted. I was lucky enough to find the shampoo and the conditioner after going to a couple of stores. First, I only found the conditioner and then I found the shampoo and conditioner and I was like, I have to try this. Then you guys, I did pick up the huge, huge pancake mix, the two pound package because it's two pounds and five ounces. I mean, my goodness. Now I have to make pancakes or waffles or I wonder what else I can make. What else can you make out of pancake mix that might be fun and exciting because I sure have a lot of it. I mean, how can you resist this for a buck and a quarter? Definitely on a cold winter day, you can make a stack of pancakes on a Sunday and, you know, enjoy them. But this is a lot of pancake mix. Let me know if there's anything else you can make out of pancakes and I'll try it. This is kind of boring, but I can't help it. I really love regular real straws. You get 80 of them for $1.25. And I actually like to keep them in my glove compartment because I literally, when I get a fast food drink, like here, I have it right now in, I bought a sweet tea from McDonald's today because it's super hot out. And they give you those paper straws that literally disintegrate in your drink. And I hate those. So I bought a sweet tea and I keep these straws in my glove compartment. And 
I dispose of them in the recycling bin. I'm not irresponsible, but I really do not like paper straws. I just don't like them. They leave a taste that makes me crazy. Let me know how you guys feel about paper straws. I picked one of these up because I have been making, okay, so this is like a whole new world for me. I, it's like kind of like one thing connected to another, connected to another. I started watching this amazing channel called Mary's Nest. I don't know if anybody out there has ever watched her. She's sort of like a modern day pioneer woman. That's what she says. And she always says in the beginning of her videos how she um, teaches people how to make bone broths, ferments, and all kinds of exciting things in the kitchen. And she was talking about bone broth one day and collagen. And then later on in the day, I bumped into a lady at Goodwill a while ago when I was doing my Goodwill haul. And I don't know if you guys remember that haul, but that's how long ago. And that lady was talking about bone broth and she was elderly and looked amazing. And she started talking about the importance of bone broth and collagen and making your own ferments and bone broths. So I've actually started doing it. Honestly, my skin is starting to look a little better. I really like it. Um, so I've been making collagen -y rich, well, collagen rich bone broth. I've been making my own. I take chicken bones and like boil the water for like ever. And I put, you know, like she explains how to do it. And I save like the rinds from vegetables and onion skins and celery. And you put it all in a big bag in your freezer, the bones and stuff. And then when you have enough to throw in the crock pot, or your Instapot and make your bone broth, you do so. And then I've been using that bone broth to like boil beans and hydrate them and then make all kinds of meals. But I bought these, I bought a couple of these to put my bone broth uh, when it's made if I have a lot in the freezer. Because sometimes I don't, like if I'm going to rehydrate beans with the collagen enriched bone broth, of course I can use that, but I sometimes make so much that it's good to freeze some. So I bought one of those to freeze or to keep the like scraps in, like the frozen onions and celery skin and all the extras that you throw out normally. You save those to be like a pioneer woman making your collagen infused bone broth, which is so exciting. I haven't quite moved into the whole ferment world yet, but I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. Um, I did grow some vegetables, as you guys have seen, and I felt very Pioneer Woman-ish. I did share that on my community tab. I grew some lettuce, but we actually grew it by accident. The lettuce that we planted this year didn't grow, but you know what? It'll grow next year, so <laughs> it's all good. We've got lettuce. I've been having fresh lettuce every day because someone told us to cut it, and then it would grow back, and it is growing back. It's so unbelievable. All right, guys. I have a ton, a ton of t-shirts to share with you guys. I have bought so many t-shirts at the Dollar Tree lately. Obviously, if you saw my thumbnail, then you know that I found an awesome one, but I'm going to share these couple of other t-shirts first with you. Honestly, there are so many awesome t-shirts at the Dollar Tree that it's kind of nuts. So this, you guys, is a sport t-shirt. Actually, unbelievable. It has a little zipper in the back. Do you guys see that little zipper for your wallet or something when you're bicycle riding? It's a really great donation. Just bought a bunch of really cool athletic-y summer type of t-shirts, but look at how beautiful this t-shirt is. It's fitted in the waist. It's really form-fitting and nice, and it does have that for bicycle riding, and it is a sport, Hanes Sport line shirt in a size medium. The store that I went into only had them in medium, but... I mean, for $1.25, you guys, that is like amazing. It's athleisure wear for a buck and a quarter. They also had the same exact style t-shirt in solid black with the zipper at the bottom again for, you know, change or maybe your phone. It's a nice size pocket and it zips up. Canes is sold at Walmart. I don't know where else they sell. Hanes Sport. I mean, I think they sell them everywhere. They're all over the world, but I think a shirt like this would be about $10 to $13. So for $1.25, it honestly does not look like a cheap t-shirt from the Dollar Tree. It really doesn't go wrong. Oh, these are my favorites. I bought a bunch of these. I actually bought a ton of these 
and I kept three for myself because that's how much I love, love this shirt. Oh my gosh, it is so cute, you guys. Hold on, let me show you. Let me show you. Cute, cute eyelet sleeves. It's got this cute eyelet lace in black in a 2X. It's really roomy because it's made super boho. These fit me so nice. They're slub knit. I love that Henley front with the eyelet lace in there. Can you believe that's a buck and a quarter? I couldn't. I still never found it in a 2X in the blue or the hot pink, but I do have, I think, three or four of the black ones because honestly, this is the type of t-shirt that I will wear forever. I love it. It's like a staple style t-shirt. It fits me super cute. I absolutely love it. Was so unbelievably shocked to find it and for it to be a size that will fit me. I couldn't believe it. I actually found these in Staten Island a while ago. I just have not yet hauled them. These are by Yes Studio Cosmic Hair Day Shampoo Bar. And I bought like three of them. They have a little bit of a cinnamon scent to them, which is funny because they're, they're red, they're floral, and a little bit cinnamony, which is kind of interesting. But my son loves these. He told me that shampoo bars are game changers. So he just loves the ease of that. He he always puts the wrong stuff in his hair. Like he doesn't bother to read in the shower and he'll come out and I'll be like, Chris, why does your hair look greasy? And he'll be like, I use that. And I'll be like, you used my entire bottle of expensive conditioner. Uh, what in the world? You need to go wash your hair. This is like super for my son because he doesn't have to read or look at anything. He just puts this in his hair and he knows that it's for that. So he told me that he likes shampoo bars and he never wants to use shampoo again. So it's a good thing I picked up a few of them at least. Now you guys, you guys know that if I could live in flip flops, that is exactly what I would do. I would wear flip flops from now until the end of time. But, but every once in a while, we all have to wear shoes, right? Even if we'd rather live in flip flops. And for those days, I love these ultra low liners. Do you guys see they're metallic? How cute, cute, amazingly nice are these? I mean, nobody sees them but me, but it makes me happy to know that I have silver glittery peds on. And then we have like a skin tone one, a rosy gold one, and a black one. I love them. They're really comfy and you know, they're very, very low cut, but they work perfect for me. And I really like them. And at $1.25, it's a good deal. Oh, I have more t-shirts. Oh my God. I went off topic again. I forgot. I have tons of t-shirts to show you guys. See, I am all over the place. So we have this do you guys remember? Oh, speaking of that Goodwill haul, remember I talked to you guys about, did I get it dirty? Oh no, no, I didn't. Um, remember how I talked to you guys in that, like, like you guys were with me that day. I talked to you guys about how I found a lace trim tank top in red of the ones that they used to sell at Walmart. Well, this isn't, um, that, that type of tank top. It's a just my size tank top, but it's a lace trim tank top for a buck and a quarter, you guys. I actually found a black one, but I've already started using it. They had them in black and in white. The black one I got in a smaller size, but it still fit me. This one is a size 2X, and it's a little big on me, but I figure once I put it in the dryer, it'll probably shrink. And then I actually found it in black also, which was a miracle, but I found the black one in a 1X, and I've already worn it. I think I've already worn it. Um, I'm almost positive I've already used it. And that one fit me really well. And so I, I I know that I've used it. I just didn't know if I put it back in the car to haul it, but I don't think I did. So um, I, I love them. It was like sent to me as a gift. I couldn't believe it. I tore the store apart looking for more, but it didn't happen. But I did find other tank tops in a different Dollar Tree and I was dumbfounded. Honestly, tank tops are like a necessity in my world. I feel like I am naked if I do not have a tank top on underneath. Even sometimes, even when I'm wearing a tank top, I have on another tank top. I guess that's from being in the nineties when that was like the thing you had to wear, you had to layer your tank tops. But like in the winter or spring, if I'm wearing a sweater or a shirt or anything, I feel like I'm not properly dressed. If I don't have a tank top on it, it, 
like makes me feel more confident if that makes any sense. So I just feel like to me, tank tops are more important than underwear. So to be able to get them for a buck and a quarter at the Dollar Tree and ones that I really like, like, oh my God, that's incredible. I couldn't believe that they were $1.25 for really nice ones. Like, I mean, you can get a pretty cool tank top, like a cami at Walmart for $1.60. And sometimes when they go on crazy clearance, you can get them for a dollar even. But this type of tank top, I was like floored when I found it. I think I hold the blue t-shirts in a different haul and this is the fuchsia colored one. I bought a ton of these and donated them and I kept this one for Constance to try on because I think maybe it will fit her. It is a size large but they are really roomy and it has the eyelet lace and I just think it's such a beautiful color. They're so so nice. They made beautiful donations. I love this color. And I hope it fits her. I think it will. She was like, no, the large isn't going to fit me. And I was like, I think the large is going to fit her. So when I see her in person soon, I can have her try it on. And if it doesn't fit, I can always just donate it with my next bunch of donations. I did share in one of my recent videos how obsessed I am with the disposable 24 packs of utensils that they make every year with the glitter in them. I truly love these. Full disclosure, I bought 10 packs. I know that that may seem excessive, but they don't have them year round and I use them year round. I love, love, love to use these whenever I feel like not washing dishes or not having stuff to put in the dishwasher. I love to take these out and use them and I love this color. So, yep, I bought 10 packs and I'm super psyched about it. Back to t-shirts, you guys. This is gonna be like interludes of other stuff while showing you guys t-shirts. I picked up these American Apparel 50-50 collection. You guys know American Apparel went out of business, but honestly, their stuff is really, really good quality. And this is one of those baseball jersey type long sleeve t-shirts. It's really, really soft and really, really long. You can literally wear this with leggings and a tank top underneath, and it's a really fun little, you know, casual outfit. It's a plus size, a 2X American apparel for um, even, like, I bought this for me. You don't find cute American apparel left at the Dollar Tree in 2X. Usually you find it in extra small or small because the company did go out of business and Things have sold for a while now, but these are a score. It's baby blue and gray. Even if I were to just sleep in it, to be honest with you, it's long enough to be a nightshirt. It's very long, like a tunic. So I love that I can wear it with leggings in the winter and a pair of boots, like zip up boots and a tank top underneath. And it's like a cute, casual, really comfy outfit for a buck and a quarter. You can't go wrong. American Apparel was a great company. They were so popular, I'm just shocked that they went out of business. Then they had these starter t-shirts and they're gray and they have a lot of little details that make them look kind of higher end. They have that little stitch in the back that really nice quality heavy gauge t-shirts have. Can you guys see that little stitch? You know what I'm talking about. It's like a little round circle, but it, it's sort of like heavier, like a winter weight cotton t-shirt and they have this little thing down here that says 2XL, but they're really heavy duty cotton, so they're warmer. And I bought them for my son because they're comfy and casual, and I think they're perfect for the winter time. So I picked them up for him. Even if he wears them to bum around the house in, they're worth a buck and a quarter. I actually bought a lot of those, but I kept two for Chris. Um, for even the winter time if he just wants to wear them in the house they're worth a buck and a quarter now these these blew my mind um in the video that i did a walkthrough i showed the brand i think it's 1018 or 10,018 something like that that was the brand this one happens to not have the label in it but this one is a plus size that i kept for myself i bought them in every size these are ribbed look ribbed tank tops in black 
brand name, I think they're sold at Target for $1.25. $1.25. Who doesn't need a plain black rib tank top? Everybody needs one. And they had them in extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, and 2XL. So no 1X. But I guess maybe to them extra large and then 2XL, that's how they do their sizing. Because that was the only size that I couldn't find. But I bought a ton of them because I know that when I dropped these off for donation, these were taken. Everybody needs a ripped tank top. Every Everybody uses them. It's, it's a phenomenal deal. This is also by American Apparel. Look at how cute that is. It's a size medium, but it is actually kind of big. So I picked it up for my son. Um, it's super cute men's t-shirt with that little tipping on the sleeve. I just think it's really 70s looking and I love it. So, and it's really nice quality. Again, American Apparel. So I picked that up for Chris. Then I picked up a couple of these. These are 2XLs. Any one of us could wear it. Me, my husband, Chris. Um, we love, love these kind of shirts with the baseball. We love the baseball t-shirts. I just love them. I love guys in them. And whenever I see them, I can't help but pick them up because the boys are slobs and they always stain them here. And inevitably I have to get rid of them or I'll use them to like clean the bathroom after I always make rags out of clothes that are cotton because I don't want to throw them right in the garbage but eventually they do go right in the garbage but I do clean like the bathroom and stuff when they stain them and use them to clean up the deck or the deck chairs but um yeah so when I see fresh clean ones that don't have pasta stains on them I buy them and you cannot go wrong for a buck and a quarter. I pretty much would never let them get a shirt like this at full price. I would flip out because they just ruin them. So it's so nice. Even if they just sleep in them, they're nice quality Hanes, 2XL, really comfy. If I want to throw something on, I can use it. Anybody could use those. They're amazing for a buck and a quarter. Amazing. Then I found these mossy oak ladies ones. I was kind of excited and the first person who I actually saw haul these was Money Saving Megan. A while ago, she showed them in her video, this Mossy Oak Break Up Infinity. And I was like, ooh, I hope I find that. She was like, oh, I can wear that to work. I was like, I can wear that too. I hope I find it because although I usually like a scoop neck, I kind of love the army print. Like if I'm going to do army print, I'll do it like this. And I love that it has that um little pink label there i think it's cute for a freezing cold day because it's um it's that sublimation print so it doesn't stretch a lot but it also will keep you really warm and i think it's perfect for like a freezing winter day or if you're going hunting but i'm not going hunting anytime soon so so on a freezing cold day that would be perfect and look it has like all these tags on it mossy oak it's I mean, I know that that was definitely more than even $10. That had to be more than $10 at Walmart. So I'm psyched to get that for a buck and a quarter. If I wanted to cut that and make it look 80s, I could do that too with it. It's actually, I was talking to somebody about it recently, how it's actually not that easy to cut t-shirts. There is a certain technique to it. You have to figure out exactly how low you want them to go. And you don't just cut everywhere. You have to follow a plan so that it doesn't, because if you cut everything scoop necked, it's going to be way too open and you're not going to be happy. So there is kind of a trick to cutting t-shirts and as a product of the 80s, probably a lot of you guys out there know how to do it, but I'm very good at it. I love, I love cutting clothing and turning it into stuff without any sewing. This t-shirt was the pièce de Resistance. I found the lip t-shirts. And I haven't seen too many people hauling the lip t-shirts. And when I found those lip t-shirts, I almost passed out. But this one, you guys, is incredible. It was only one. And it's actually a size 3X, which is unbelievable. I love it. It fits me so cute. I literally tried it on right in the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I tried this on right in the middle of Dollar Tree. I did not care. I was so excited. It's a V-neck that I love, love. I cannot say this enough. And it says, live every moment. 
I don't know. I'm trying to see your reaction. I'm like, I want to see them. But I, can you guys believe that? How cute is that? If it was like fluorescent or if it was like rainbow print, oh my God, I would like it even more. But it's really pretty like ombre pink effect print. Amazing, amazing for a buck and a quarter. That made my, my month. I actually found that like three weeks ago because sometimes I'll be like, oh, I'm not going to look through the t-shirt bins. And then I'll like have put my phone away and paid for the stuff. And I'll be like, no, I just have to go through the bins. You never know. And that's how I found that. Cause I wasn't going to look through those t-shirt bins. I was in a hurry and I was leaving. And then I was like, no, let me just take a fast look. And then I found that and I got back on the line and paid for it because I was like, Oh my God. And then after that, I was like, I'm always looking through the bins. You never know what you could miss because sometimes you do turn up empty, but on the off chance that you find something unbelievable, it is unbelievable. It's so worth looking. And then this is like my last, this is, I think this is my last t-shirt that I have bought to haul for a while. I, I bought a ton, a ton, ton, ton cases and cases of t-shirts this year. This, this year was the best apparel I've ever seen the Dollar Tree get in a long time. But these are just some that I kept for my friends and family. But this one is a 4XL. So that was kind of appealing to me because you can always do stuff with really oversized t-shirts. It's by Hanes Perfect Tee and it's really fitted. Has like a really nice shape. Do you guys see that? So you could cut the bottom and put beads on it like we all did at camp which I didn't go to camp but like a day camp I did it in and you could cut your sleeves or you could just wear it as a regular t-shirt I will be cutting this open I do not like t-shirts that are super close like that but I love the other I love the cut of it it's fitted in a really nice way and it has really cute sleeve caps and it has very, very cute sleeves. So once I cut it, it's gonna be really cute. So I love this t-shirt and it's a really fun purple and you could even do bleach tie-dye to it. There's so many things I could do to it, but for a buck and a quarter, you can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong, guys. Um, when I see these Minute Made 100% orange juices, they're 12 ounces. I do pick them up. My son loves them. They are shelf stable. You don't have to put them in the fridge until after you've opened them. And they're real orange juice, not, I mean, they are from concentrate, but they are real orange juice. So yeah, at $1.25, it's not a bad deal. In the summer, I need a lot extra drinks and snacks. So I do pick up some things I normally wouldn't buy during the year at the Dollar Tree. And I was kind of excited to see vitamin water. And then I felt really geriatric when the cashier was like, oh, those are so retro because <sighs> things that I had in my youth are now retro. Like vitamin water is retro. Did you guys know that? <laughs> it's a throwback. <laughs> I, I almost threw up right on the lane. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I'm turning 50 this year in this really young She's like, actually, she goes to my son's high school. I hope she's not watching this video because she told me she's going to subscribe to my channel, but it's okay. I wasn't insulted. I was just getting clinical depression from it. But she said, oh, God, those are such a throwback vitamin water. It's retro. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, oh my God, what is happening right now? I, I can't process this. I need to go home and drink some Powerade, but this one is dragon fruit. I just couldn't. Um, this one is dragon fruit and this one is a Kai blueberry and pomegranate. And my son loves vitamin water. I didn't hear him tell me that it was retro. Like he, I guess he knows there's another flavor also some type of an orange tangerine one, but my son already took that one. I also picked up a bunch of chunk light tuna in water because this one does not have any soy in it and I was just too lazy to go to the supermarket. Some tuna fish contain soy. This one is soy free. I can't for the life of me understand why tuna in a can would have soy added to it and therefore anytime I see that I will never buy any of their products because that means they actually just bulk up the tuna with soy. Um, I picked these up because they're adorable from the party section 
game on, you win, level up, game on, bonus, you win, level up, game on, bonus. I mean, come on, come on. The boys are going to love that. We'll probably use these for my husband's birthday, which is even more hilarious than anything. But honestly, you're going to get a kick out of this. You get 20 napkins and 18 little paper plates, and that's perfect for a gamer of any age. But, you know, it could be considered retro-y as well, because... That's what I am now, retro. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it's too much for me, you guys. I picked up this 100% lemon juice. Normally, I wouldn't really buy this type of lemon juice, but um, it is by Leaping Leopard. It's a brand name, but I bought this when I wanted to make my hummus, but then I ended up getting some fresh stuff, but I might use all Dollar Tree stuff and make hummus anyway. A few of you guys actually asked me to share my hummus recipe so I think I probably will make a little video of that really short video of how to make um of how to make hummus it's really really easy so let me know in the comments down below how you guys make your hummus and if you know how to make homemade hummus because really and truly buying a container of hummus is so much more money than just making it yourself and it is really really good homemade from the zodiac collection I picked up these hair clips. They have the star with the really pretty, do you guys see the rhinestones and pearls? And again, the heart one has it, and so does the moon. Now, my reason for buying these may be a little crazy, but I'll tell you guys why. Um, I like to, first of all, I do like to clasp my t-shirts with barrettes like this. But let's say you have a boring or plain sweater like a really plain sweater and you're like, ah, I'm so sick of that sweater with these three, a sweater. You can't do it with a shirt. It has to be a sweater, like an actual knit sweater, but you can literally just take your sweater and put this through the holes and put like embellish your sweater all over with these clips. And it would be really cute. Or if it's a cardigan that doesn't have any button, you know, they make a lot of open knit cardigans these days, but let's say you want to close it a little and maybe um, have it stay put in one spot because maybe you're not wearing a tank top underneath or whatever the reason is, you can actually just put these as buttons and it's really cute to close, to close it up. I just love to use things like this, like that, but you can also put them in your hair, obviously. Um, and I think I love the star one for my hair actually, but the other ones, or honestly, I, I like them for everything, but I do like to use them for lots of purposes. Instead of buying brooches, I would rather get a barrette because I could use it for all those reasons and put it in my hair. I saw these facial wipes in lemon reviving 32 count. And I was really excited. Ooh, let me show you guys my necklace. I did a Shane haul a while ago, and I said that I bought these earrings because I had a necklace that I absolutely love, and they would match so perfectly. And this is the necklace. This is like one of my favorite super retro necklaces that I've had forever and ever since I was young. Very cool and vintage. Love it. And these earrings match it so well, so... I figured I'd share that with you guys because I forgot, I think, to show you in that haul. See, back to the haul. Um, this is distributed by a company called Raw Sugar. Now, I feel like that is a different company than was making Bolero a while ago. And I was kind of excited. I feel like that name does not ring a bell to me. Um, so the Bolero is being made by someone else or being distributed by somebody else. I don't know exactly what's going on with Bolero, but I said, you know what? Let me try them again because lately Bolero has been really hit or miss and this packaging was awesome and they are lemon, but I'm going to tell you guys something and I hope that I'm not ruffling people's feathers. I feel like these reviving facial wipes literally smell like furniture cleaner. They have a really like a hand sanitizer, bathroom cleaner kind of smell. They don't smell, the wipe itself is nice and I have already used them because I was really excited. They they feel okay, they didn't break out my skin, but the scent, I don't like the scent. And I love all things lemon. Like I love all things lemon, but these smell like, 
they smell like hand sanitizer or bathroom cleaner. They don't smell luxurious lemon. They smell tragic lemon. I don't know if that makes any sense, but they smell like emergency purposes lemon, not relaxing, makeup removing, luxury purposes lemon. And I kind of want my face wipes to have a luxury feeling, but I have become spoiled because, and I don't know why I'm not hauling them in this video. Oh, I can haul them in this video. Hold on a minute. I've become spoiled by the BYS wipes that I showed in a walkthrough a while ago. I'm obsessed with them. If I remember, I will add a picture here because I thought I had a pack in my bag and I don't, which is sad. I think that means I finished one pack already. Um, Pamela and I are obsessed with them. We, we both found them and we told ourselves, like, if we ever see them again, we need to get a lot of them because there has never been, I've literally not bought better wipes, not from Mac. I like to use Mac wipes, face wipes as well. Those pale in comparison to the BYS makeup wipes. They are the greatest makeup wipes I have ever used in my entire life. In my entire life. Is that not crazy? And I bought them at the Dollar Tree. And so since I've started using those wipes, nothing else will do. So perhaps I am being too judgy with the Bolero, but I do not like the scent. They didn't feel bad. They were no BYS wipe. That is my new comparable. When I try a wipe, it's, they're no BYS wipe. Eh, they'll work, but they're not going to make me ecstatic. Those BYS wipes, they make me ecstatic. Now, now I'm going to share with you guys something that did make me ecstatic. This palette, BYS lips palette, the looks lips palette. You guys, when I found this and the, um, color pop eyeshadow palette, which I don't have here. I'm not hauling that one today, but I will eventually get around to hauling it and swatching it, but this lip palette is crazy beautiful. I mean, there isn't a color on earth that this palette does not cover, so I love that. I love that diversity that we get when we get a lip palette. First, we had the Maybelline palette. You know, they brought that Maybelline palette out in droves, and I was able to gift it to so many women, but the Dollar Tree did not bring this beautiful palette out in droves. In fact, they were so limited of, of a quantity at the store that I found them in. Oh my God, it's just even nicer. It's even nicer. No odor, not like the whole Iman season. It's not like this season of Iman makeup that was all giving me a run for my money. Some was good, some was bad. It was like betting to buy those. But these, I have never had anything by BYS disappoint me. I've even had stuff by Hard Candy disappoint me, but so far, every single thing I've ever, ever gotten from BYS, I have been ecstatically happy with. Um, it says, featuring a collection of 20 must-have shades, wear them alone or mix to customize your own unique shade. And perfect your pout with BYS Looks Lips. Now, first and foremost, they do have this sparkly white one that I would either mix with a shade or it's like a lip gloss or you could just use it as a highlight and go about your day because I love, I love using something like that as a highlight because it's really moisturizing. I absolutely love that. And it is like the holographic lipstick that we found by BYS last year that comes in a tube, which I always use as a highlight. Actually, it's such a good highlight. It's the same exact lipstick. That's amazing. I'm so excited to have that. There are a lot of really pretty colors in here though. Do you guys see that? Look at that one, for example. That's an awesome color. We're going to swatch this bad boy because you guys know that I love swatching. So I'll be, I will be using my Lemon Pledge scented um, Bolero White. Not begrudgingly, but not ecstatically happy. But I'm still ecstatically happy looking at this awesome BYS palette. So this is the like pinkish looking nude one. I'll swatch that one first. Let's see. Oh, it's really nicely pigmented. I'm going to do the whole first row. That is the whole first row, including the like sparkly one on the end there. And I absolutely love, 
I love that color right there. I love it. That is such a pretty, pretty color. I love that color right there. That's gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Then we have my favorite row of all, of course, is that one. So we're going to check that one out next and I'll continue them going up and then I'll have to put the rest on this hand. I always like to say that when I'm covered in makeup, that means I had a good day at the Dollar Tree and this one is definitely nothing to sneeze at because I went all the way to Staten Island for these and when I found them, I literally just got in my car and didn't stop until I found these palettes. I was ready to drive to another country if I had to because I just sometimes get it in my head like I want to find it and I do. I actually just realized that you can pull it up and you can store some lip brushes in here because it doesn't come with a lip brush, but I would definitely need to store a lip brush in there. You could just pop it right back in and out whenever you want to take your lip brushes out. I think that would be convenient. So yeah, so then we have this rosy, bright rosy pink. That's really, that's really nice. And they convey, you see that what they look like right here is exactly what they look like on the skin. Sometimes makeup doesn't do that. And I get really aggravated when things don't swatch the way. Oh my gosh, I love that. That corally peach color is beautiful. That's it right there. Then I know I'm gonna love these three. You guys knew that already. Let's see, I'm gonna put this one on my hand and then I'm gonna put it on my face because I have to. I love that red so much and now I have it on my lower lip now we're gonna swap I have a feeling I'm gonna like the other red even more so let's see about this one this is a crazy oh yeah that's like a deep beautiful like berry red so we're gonna put that red on the upper lip That's the second one and that's the first one. I definitely like that one the most. That is superb, beautiful. It is shiny. I don't love shiny lip lipstick, but I love that color. And then I'm gonna mix them together like it says. They're mixed. I really like it actually. Now, so that's that blue red is incredible. Then we have this like almost brown purple. Wow, that's really pretty as well. It's like purple, almost, almost a chocolate brown, but it's purple. It's like a deep, dark, gothic burgundy, which is always nice in the winter months. As promised, we'll be swatching the other 10 on the other hand. So, we have this row of beautiful pinks. Lightest pink will go at the top under the bracelet. Oh, that's like a, that's almost like a lip gloss pink. That's a cute pink. And then we have like a pretty, then we have like a brighter pink. So, I mean, you can see how this palette is a one-stop shop, you guys. Like, wow, that I like that one. That is a really nice pink. I really like it. And then this one is going to be almost purple. I have a feeling this one's going to be beautiful. Oh, yeah, Pamela put that one on, and I loved it on her. Oh, yes. Honestly, that's a really nice color. It's really, really nice. I don't even love purple lipstick, and I love it. And then there's like a darker purple, but that purple is super retro. I love it. See, that's retro. Uh, not, not vitamin water. Is vitamin water really a throwback, guys? Can you let me know if you've ever heard that before? That nearly killed me. I swear to God, <laughs> I'm never going to forget it. What else is going to become a throwback? <sighs> Crystal Pepsi is a throwback. Vitamin water, is it really a throwback? I don't know. I have to get off the subject because I'm stuck. I'm stuck there. So that's the whole row. It's very gorgeous. 
did I do it backwards? No, that's it. Lightest to darkest. And that lightest one is practically like a lip gloss, but really nice. And now, honestly, this bottom row, there are some metallics in here. And they're like hidden treasures. Do you guys see that? That is a pretty, pretty metallic. That, if you're in a hurry, you can do, because I do do this, you can do your lips, bust this out, put some of this in your brow, and put some of this metallic right here, and you're kind of ready to go. You can put a little of this in here, and you're good to go, because metallics look like eyeshadows. But let's watch and see. Because I, I do things like that when I'm in a hurry. Ooh, that's a pretty brown. So we're going to go from darkest to lightest now. That's the that's such a pretty brown. I really like that. That's really nice. You could even contour with that. Now we're going to do the metallic. I went from darkest to lightest because I really wanted to swatch that crazy gorgeous color. Yep. Wow. That, that could be one of my favorites. And I could totally use that as eyeshadow in a pinch. So you could kind of do contour with this. You could do whatever. Oh, wow. See, that bottom row of browns is so, so gorgeous. Here's the bottom row with the second metallic orangey one. Those are really gorgeous as well. There we have the whole enchilada, you guys. There it is. I think that that is honestly amazing for a dollar a dollar 25 if only the dollar tree had brought these in in droves like they brought in the maybelline ones i would have picked those up in droves because those make amazing holiday gifts and i would have had to buy them now and save them for christmas but the dollar tree is not going to let us down even though they've been slow to the game i have faith guys they're going to get it together before christmas they can't disappoint people so many charities they can't disappoint everyone. So many charities look to the Dollar Tree to fill a, a necessary void in gift giving that I'm getting worried that they're not going to bring great stuff and I'm going to have to travel to like Staten Island and I don't, I can't go to Staten Island every day hunting the Dollar Tree. It just so happens I got lucky and I found a few for the video, but you know, I collect everything I need by shopping the Dollar Tree regularly so that I can fill people's wish lists at Christmas and make sure people have gifts um, at different times of the year for all different occasions. So I'm hoping that the Dollar Tree steps up their game and starts to bring stuff everywhere because in my area, it's been very hit or miss. Yes, they brought us a lot of kitchen towels lately. If you guys missed my buddy Pamela's video, she had a, a, a kitchen towel extraordinaire video, but we need more things. I'm going to need stuff for the ladies and ladies don't want kitchen towels for Christmas gifts. I mean, you know what? If push comes to shove, that might be what I have to do. But I'm hoping, I am hoping that the universe hears me and sends me hundreds of these. I want to walk into every Dollar Tree and find a ton. Like I just want to see the whole entire shelf full of these. Like I was seeing of the Maybelline. The Maybelline one was everywhere. They had they were delivering two and three cases of them and there were 72 of those Maybelline palettes in every case. This I think came six or a dozen. Maybe a dozen a case. A dozen of something like that. One person only needs to walk up to it and buy every one of them. I mean Who's not going to buy at least 10 of those if they see them? So it's it's going to be hard to find those. And I hope the Dollar Tree brings them in in droves. That's all I'm going to say because they're incredible. I picked up another one of these Spa Scriptions Active Essentials Fresh Start Cleansers with Goji Berry Orange and Lemon. I do find these from time to time. I got to tell you guys, this is one of my absolute favorite, favorite uh, skin cleansers. It's just the regular face wash, but it smells so good. Removes dirt oil for fresh and clean skin for all skin types. And it's just one of my absolute favorite, favorite items that I ever, ever bought in the Dollar Tree. I really love it. Like I love it so much that it blows my mind. It has like little exfoliating scrubbies in it. And it's just a really great product if you, and it's thick, it's really thick. You guys see that it's like thick. It's not like jelly or 
it's a thick, amazing face wash, and I really love it. And every time that I see them, I pick up another one. It just has an awesome, like, citrus, wake up in the morning kind of, see, oh, that's what I mean. Like, this is goji berry, orange, and lemon. It has a citrus, delicious scent to it. This wipe, lemon pledge. So, you know what? This was bought in the Dollar Tree, too. I'm not a Dollar Tree snob, you guys. This has a wonderful citrus scent. And those wipes, they honestly smell like furniture cleaner. So, um, I hate giving something a bad review. But I'm just not thrilled with the scents of the um, Bolero wipes. I'm just not. And I used to really love their fragrance, but not anymore. Anyway, I love this. This is a big thumbs up. And the packaging is so bright and colorful and happy. If you happen to stumble over these, definitely grab one, guys. You're not going to be disappointed. I promise you that. Then I did pick up one of the food tents. Um, I'm sure you guys know what they look like, but for those who don't, I will open it. Um, I love this color. I had one and I don't know what in the world I did with it. That is the long, I probably the dogs ruined it. It's probably in the driveway. Um, who knows? But I mean, everybody's opened these. Of course I broke, oh my God, I broke mine. Of course I broke mine. Oh my God. Really? No, I, it still would work, but that is not how it's supposed to be. Mine. I actually really broke mine. <laughs> Got to pause the video now. I'm so embarrassed. Once again, you guys, I am so embarrassed, but this is proof that some of us ruffians cannot be trusted with cannot be trusted with the little delicate implement. Honestly, this works for everybody. You guys saw everybody on YouTube open these. I should not have even opened it. I should have left it to others because I really am a bull in a china shop. Mine spun around in there and is inside out. It is 100% ruined. I'm going to still... I can't, I can't you I I'm going to put it flat in my cabinet. <sighs> I ruined it. That's all there is to it. And uh yeah. I bro I broke mine. I'm the only one who broke it. Though I I have seen every single person on YouTube haul it and not have a problem with it but me it's me it's not it's not that poor food tent's fault that i am just a bull in a china shop you guys those are really good and i buy them every year and that one met its fate today these are 70 years of fantastic get it fantastic um color forms fun and they're so cute look at that they have a runway show i'm gonna open it and show you guys it's so cute I bought a lot of these because honestly, these are, I'm, I'm thinking these are going to be gone during the holidays and these are going to be really cool. Look at how cool that is. Isn't that fun? Kids are going to love that. It's literally a runway. How cool is that? They can like put it up. I could see a little girl sticking this on the wall by her bed and then having like a little box of the, you know, like a little, a cute little, like the little case, the tech cases even. She can put all of the little accessories in the tech cases and then she can change their outfits while she's trying to go to sleep. Look at how cute that is. That is really super duper cute. I love it. Oh, look at, they did the tuck in that shirt. That is adorable. I think it's so nice. For $1.25, that is definitely something to stuff a stocking with. A buck and a quarter well spent. Little kids love. They absolutely love color forms. And then they had these, and I also showed these in my walkthrough. And I think that these would be really a great deal if you're doing a kid's birthday party on a budget. Now, you get four four packs for $1.25. So let's say you want to give everybody something. You can separate them and put one of each, just put one in each bag. Each one has 50 stickers of its own to dress these postcards and they're double-sided. 
it's really cute. Like it's basically a four pack, a mini to go four pack of color forms. You can't go wrong with that guys. Look at how adorable that is. That's really cute. Of course, if you can afford to give the little girl all four of them, it's a no brainer, but it's to fill like birthday bags or something. Those are definitely good for four for a dollar 25. Little girls are definitely going to love those. Then I found a bunch of books from Target. See, it says 20% off cover price. Official Fortnite Battle Royale Survival Guide. Top tips and tricks to dominate Battle Royale. And people who love Fortnite love Fortnite. I mean, they spend money to buy outfits. This is how to win a Battle Royale. Yes, people go on to win like lots of money in those things too. Not for nothing. Then we had the... Official Fortnite Battle Journal. This is a journal. I mean, you can actually write whatever you want in here. If you want to keep track of something else, you can in this. But it's it's cool. And I know that if you know someone that loves Fortnite, they're going to love, love this. They're going to love it. So you can get that one. And this one was originally $9.99. This one was originally $12.99. They're all hardcover. This one has like a nice texture to it too. And um, it's a originally $11.49. No, it was originally $17, but it was $11.49 in Target. And it's official Fortnite supply drop collector's edition. The best weapons and items from Battle Royale. So, I mean, it was a book that was originally $17. It has a lot of Fortnite content in here for kids that love that. My son actually doesn't play Fortnite, so I would have bought them for him, but I didn't. I bought quite a few sets to donate to the shelter because kids love Fortnite, but my son doesn't. He likes zombie games. And this one was also originally $17. It has that like silicone texture that I really like. Um, official Fortnite outfits, collector's edition, your favorite outfits from Battle Royales. Again, was originally $17, so there's tons of Fortnite content in here that kids will pour over. When you tell them that they can't play video games anymore, they can look at these books. If you tell them no more video games for a few hours, they can pour themselves through these fun books. But I mean, that is well over $55 worth of books for five bucks, you guys. Amazing, amazing deal. Oh my God, there are wild turkeys, you guys. Wild, get this. Those, do you guys see those? Those are wild turkeys. I'm just watching wild turkeys running around. Oh my God. What? Oh my God. I can't believe this is the craziest day ever, you guys. They're just walking around in the parking lot of the Dollar Tree, wild turkeys. Oh, now there's another one. There's four of them. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I can't believe it. Oh, I can never eat turkey again. I don't think I can ever eat turkey again. Turkey is such a delicious meat too. Oh my God, I'm so upset. They're just happily running in the wild. I can never have turkey again. I'm so sad. That is amazing. It's just a wild turkey run. Did you guys expect to see wild turkeys here today? I'm just, just leave a comment down below. Because oh, I'm in like a residential area and I just saw a pack of wild turkeys go by. You can't make this stuff up. This is the kind of stuff that happens to me every single day. Let me get back into my hole, you guys. Now, I picked up, you guys know that I'm obsessed with Titania. I did pick up a while ago the ones that had the um, kind of hand sort of curved shape, and I love them, but I gave almost all of them away. So when these came back into the Dollar Tree, just the classic square pumice stones, I picked up several for gifts and for myself. I'm going to definitely hold on to at least a few of them because they're really, really great products. Every single thing I've tried by Titania, I really liked. And like I said, I gave them all away and I left myself with none. So these are probably going to be mine and all the other ones that I bought, I'm going to give away. 
And then I picked some of these up. Now the Dollar Tree does carry a four pack of nail files and I happen to be someone that likes those. I think they're pretty good. They're a little bit flimsy, but we're gonna test this one out. It's a nail file as well. It's very compact, but I've so far loved everything I've ever gotten by Titania. So I'm curious to see what the quality flimsiness of this is. I'm looking to see if the turkeys are gonna come back. That was really cool. Um, this is a turkey run, I guess. I guess that's what they mean by that. So, okay, so that's the package and it's all in German. You guys know the spiel already. You know what? These are not as flimsy as the ones that are four for a dollar. I gotta admit, the ones that are four for a buck and a quarter by the Dollar Tree are pretty darn good. I like them. I like a steel nail file. Um, this is magnificent. It's much more durable. It does, it's really, really good. And it's perfect to keep in your wallet because it's slim. And if you have an emergency and you need a nail file, it'll be there. And uh, I just think it's really good that it's compact. It's definitely worth $1.25. It's a really, really good, high quality stainless steel product. I think that we are on last but not least, you guys. I picked this up, this tailgating adult Mad Libs book, two Mad Libs in one because um, I know my husband is gonna really enjoy that. He might do it with his dad, but um, yeah, I know that they're gonna find it amusing and it's adult Mad Libs. In the back of it, it says, it's, it has an already done Mad Lib and it says, of course, the best part of any slimy tailgate is the drinks. Make sure to bring plenty of cases of chickens to drink. Oh my God, we just had turkeys. I could have brought turkeys to drink. And don't forget your turquoise solo cups you obviously been playing tailgating Mad Libs. So, I mean, it's silly, but I don't think that's really adult. I thought it was gonna have a more of an adult content, but honestly, they're gonna find it funny. They, they, they find simple things like that really amusing, and, and you never know, like depending on what words you say, it could be very funny. That's the whole point of Mad Libs. So for a buck and a quarter, it's entertainment. Um, let me know what your favorite item in this haul was. I had so many items in this haul that I love, but definitely I love the lace tank top and the t-shirt. So many awesome apparel items and the palette. I just, the Dollar Tree is giving us a run for our money and our gas tanks, you guys, but I might be hopping on a turkey to get to my next Dollar Tree soon, but I love you guys. I appreciate you guys being here. Please do help me get my channel out there so that we can get to 10,000. I will be announcing the winner of the 8,000 subscriber giveaway in this video. So I'm going to be talking while I'm announcing the winner. I don't know who that is yet. Congratulations to you, whoever you may be, because I have to go home tonight and write a kajillion names and put them in a bin and pick a name out of the bin because you guys still are not really doing the hashtags the right way. When you do a hashtag of whatever sentence I give you guys, you don't put any spaces. You put hashtag and then you write the whole thing out. That is how you do the hashtag so it turns blue and then I could start to use the comment picker, which is what I really need to do because I have enough subscribers now that it's becoming overwhelming to put all the names in the hat. Again, right now I'm talking and blabbering while somebody's winning this giveaway. Here's an overview of the 8,000 subscriber giveaway in case you did miss it. It was a huge, fabulous one, including a facial mister and lots of face masks and awesome hard to find products. And the winner is Angela Campana. Angela, I am so excited for you. Congratulations. Please make sure to email me as soon as possible so I can get this awesome prize out to you. Help me share my channel, guys, because I will be announcing other winners in my next video. And I would like to do a humongous 10,000 subscriber giveaway. So share my videos, grab your sons and daughters phones, your husbands, your friends, whoever, and subscribe them to my channel. You never know, they might watch. But even if they don't watch, they'll still be subscribed. I need to get to 10,000 however I get there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed my wild turkey. This is my wild in the wild, truly in the wild, wild turkey Dollar Tree haul. You can't make this stuff up, guys. And as always, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.